Hello everyone. Let us see today the introduction of integral calculus. So, let us consider S which denote distance and T which denote time. Rate of change of distance with respect to time which is ds by dt. When ds by dt is given, finding s from ds by dt is called integration. Finding s from ds by dt is called integration. Or in general, the process of finding a function given its derivative is called integration. I hope you have understood the definition. The process of finding a function given its derivative given its derivative is called integration. This is the example. Finding s from um, this ds by dt is called integration. So integration is the reverse of differentiation. For example, see, we know integration of uh, sin x. Sorry, let us consider differentiation. Differentiation of sin x, which is cos x, right? Let us take integration of cos x. Integration of cos x. What is integration of cos x? Sin x. You can see it is reverse process. Integration is the reverse of differentiation. Differentiation of sin x is cos x. Integration of cos x is sin x. So usually we add integration constant c here. The reason, sometimes if you see, if you differentiate some x square plus 2, what will you get? You will get 2x. Just now I said, just now I said, integration is the reverse process of differentiation. So when I integrate it, I should get this one, right? So integration of 2x dx, which is x square simply. x square by 2, but 2, 2 get cancelled, it is x square. I hope you know formula. Integral x to the power n dx, which is x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Here it is, n is 1 here. So at x square by 2, where 2 will get cancelled with this 2. So it is simply x square. You can see here we have x square plus 2. But here we will have only x square. That's why we add a constant of integration c. Okay. So if you add this 2 is, 2 is considered c here. This 2 is considered c here. Okay. Uh, so we add constant of integration c here. That's why with all, sometimes... Uh, in differentiation there may be constant. When we differentiate that constant it will become 0. Okay. But when you integrate you should get this part. What we have. If you have constant. Right. It will not come here. When you differentiate it. So constant term will not appear. That's why we add constant of integration C. Let us see another example. See d by dx of x power 4 plus 2x plus c. If you differentiate it, you will get 4x cube plus 2 simply. Right? Plus 2. When you integrate it, you should get this answer. Integral 4x cube plus 2 whole thing into dx. We know integration of x cube is x power 4 by 4. 4 and 4 get cancelled. Integration of 2 dx is, it is a, uh, 2x plus constant of integration c okay so this is the way why we add this is why we add constant of integration c and next comes why do we use this symbol for integration this elongated s for integration why do we use this we know integration helps us to find the area of certain region right if you consider some portion this rectangle it is easy to understand that's why i tell you so, if you take this rectangle, assume this as rectangle, see, to find the area of this region, divide it into smaller rectangles. Find the area of each rectangle and hence add or sum, sum the areas, you will get the required area, right? Sum the areas of each rectangle, right? You will get the required area. So, the word sum, you consider the word sum, the first letter of the word sum is yes. So integration, listen here. This is uh, what we do, right? This is what in the beginning uh, we have done, right? 
but now we have formula to find the area of this region using this integral calculus oh since we find the sum of all the word first letter of the word s is considered here that elongated s yes that elongated s is considered as the symbol for integration so this uh, integral is very useful in calculating areas bounded by curves right areas bounded by curves and uh, to find volume and uh, also uh, work done by force etc uh, we use our uh, integral calculus in those areas right let us see application later i stop here please go through again again video to understand the introduction thank you